Welcome to our tutorial exploring the new video interface of Speechy Touch Screens. This brand new smart interface allows you to launch your video conferences with a single click on your interactive screen on Android. In this video, we will introduce you to the interface, its main uses and its smart features just after explaining how to set it up. The idea is to help you create a professional space connected to your interactive display for every single video conferencing meeting of your team. Part 1. Set up your screen and get ready to go live. To activate the brand new smart video interface, you just need to press on the screen surface for a few seconds. Then, enter the settings section and simply activate the toolbar. Once the new interface is activated, you will see two side icons appear. This one displays all your favorite shortcuts. That one is the big novelty of the video interface, the button to open the video conference panel. It is here that you will find all the video conference meetings in the screen's calendar and all the tools necessary for a productive video meeting. To fill the calendar of your video conferences, you just need to link an account, Gmail, Outlook, etc. to your interactive screen by clicking on Settings, then Account. We recommend creating an account specific to your interactive screens or to your meeting room. By inviting this account to each of your meetings or by sending invites from this account, they will appear in the calendar of your video interface. You can also link a personal account to the interactive screen and log out easily when you leave the meeting room. Part 2. Go live one-click video call. Each member of your team will then only need to connect to the video that concerns them when they book the video conference room by clicking on the phone icon. The video conference starts right away. Now that you have all the keys to quickly start a video conference from your new interface, we will show you how to use the full range of collaborative features of the screen via the video interface. We have chosen the shortcuts most likely to serve you in a video conference. The file explorer, the note whiteboard software, the browser, and the Android app drawer. Let's take the example of a screen sharing with notes. As in a classic video conference, you can share your screen. Take the opportunity to share your brainstorming on notes with your remote interlocutors. Part 3. Through the cloud. To link your personal account to your touchscreen calendar, you just have to connect it via facial recognition. This way, you will be able to retrieve all your video conferencing meetings as well as every single of your files stored in your drive. It is super convenient, you can prepare your meetings in advance outside of the meeting room and share your documents easily and safely. It's now the end of our tutorial. Don't forget to log out before you get out of your meeting room.